can see his arm is way low. Maybe you throw his hair over his over his shoulder. That's it. That's it. That's the cover up. See, it's tough to figure out how to cover Alright. Well, look like what you expected. Uh, not really. Looked a little bit better, actually. More off to the side. Yeah, this is a vacuum cleaner, a television. Vacuum cleaner pipes, a uh, flashlight piece, some car lights, a flashlight, a juice bottle, uh, printer pieces, the stand I got from a work light, and my dad soldered on all these little light bulb wires. What's this character's name? His name's gonna be Measley. Measley. Green. So I understand you have a production problem based on the color of the puppet. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. What's the problem? Well, it's green and I'm filming on a green background. I'm supposed to be cutting out the green, so... I should have I made a pretend invisible character. Is he inspired by Star Wars or Flesh Gordon? Old Star Wars and Jim Henson. You should, see, you should see his truck. It's, in, it's like a shrine to Jim Henson. You should turn it on and turn it off in between. Are we using this umbrella still? This is a bicycle helmet and this is a baseball helmet, but you wear it backwards. So it, you want to so, so it kind of looks different, you know? See, doesn't that look high tech? Kind of like Robocop almost, huh? You think so? Not really, but. It's crazy if <laughs> you can pull it off. But it's a helmet, right? And they need helmets because they're in space, right? We, otherwise, we'd lose the guns entirely. Have you noticed that in the shot? That I, I noticed that these guns are almost gone. Oh, adjust. yeah. If they stuck out a little bit farther, then the light would catch them better. But it's almost like we have to have the light right inside here, but we can't do that. Uh, running tests right now. What do you mean? Um, I'm trying to make sure we can get this green screen to drop out before we spend too much time doing it. Just, uh, we're getting a lot of flicker right now. We're gonna get rid of the flicker real quick. Stop crying, you big baby! We've got the button. Stop crying, you big baby! We've got the button. The little ship is here, and they come up right behind him. But that's in, like, scene... Six, I think. Okay. So we do have that shot. But but this initial shot from scene four is a very first establishing shot for this ship. This is like Star Wars shit. It's about it's about oppression and getting out from under the iron yoke of the ruling class. At the camera. See if it came into frame, like over. Yeah. Like how they always show like Star Wars and stuff. Yeah. If we flip this around, we could film it where there's nothing, and then film it. That's what you're saying. And just pull the camera back, like right here, and then truck back. That's actually what we could do. All right, I, you know what, I see what you're saying. I wasn't getting it before, but I totally get it now. Do you want to swap the lights too? Well, the thing is, remember that when we shoot it, uh, me and Steve actually wrote it a long time ago. Yeah, 
Yeah, but I was, two and a half years ago. Yeah, when I was like going through this divorce and shit, and that didn't work out very well. Dropped out of school. Well, pretty much I dropped out of school. Um, and for a while I just made like cop outs on film projects. Because I kind of wanted to get away from making puppets and special effects and, and all that stuff. I didn't really want to do that anymore. Because chick girls didn't really like it. So now I figure I'm going to be all by myself. At least I'm going to have a puppet to play with or something.